Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser and this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a basic antivirus using C Sharp so I just created a new project and added the picture box here put two buttons and progress bar and list box and two labels here uh, ok now we want to add the functionality to the browse button uh, when we click the browse we're going to show up uh, folder browse dialog and this dialog allow us to um, get uh, the folder name so uh, go to the toolbox choose a folder browse dialog and just drag it into your form after you drag it to your form uh, you will see it here so I just gotta click on the browse button okay we go to inside the the method. Um, I want to add folder dialog the show dialog and I want to set the label uh, PL folder the text is equal to the folder dialog the selected path okay uh, and let me just define a variable which is the number of viruses because we want to go to a folder and scan how many viruses that this folder contain so we go, we go up here say integer uh, viruses okay the initialize okay by default it's zero so I come here and say viruses equals zero because maybe I gotta execute this to other folder so I need to reset the counter and I say label uh, viruses is the text is equal to plus equal to viruses the to string okay after that we need to set the progress bar value to zero okay and the list box box one the items the clear because when to reset everything before we start uh, all the stuff so let me save this try to start the project okay here we got uh, this nice program running so I go browse I can select the folder okay okay can see the number of viruses zero and uh, we selected the the bath for the folder so I need to add the functionality to the scan button so each time I click here the, sc the scanning uh, operation gotta start and we gotta scan all the files in that folder f and check for the content okay uh, okay back to the form double click on the button here we want to add uh, a search for uh, uh, the specified folder so just go here and define a list and say list of string see search equal to I have a, a static class called directory so if I go to directory so we need to import this so we go up to the function say so using a system the IO here we say directory uh, the get 
files because I want to get the files and here we just say we want to get the files from uh, folder of course the selected path and after that we want to give it the pattern uh, and the search or the filter and I want to search for everything that every every character so I put this but now see we got a problem here so you need to put this sign that sign before uh, you you getting into search okay and uh, I need to convert this into list so if I come here to say to list it's like that so everything is fine um, after this I need to put the progress bar value so uh, to be the maximum of the the search length so if I got 200 the the maximum length of uh, the progress bar will be the length of this list so basically I just come up and say search the so we have a lot of uh, methods uh, we have uh, the length method in arrays we have the the size method and uh, maybe we have the count method also capacity give you a total number of element okay so let me choose uh, for example capacity or we can choose the count can I give you the number of element contained in the collection so I need the number of elements so I choose count uh, after choosing count I need to make an array to search uh, for entire files in this uh, list so I say for each for each function so we start the loop and I want to search for string value item inside the search and we need to put a catch statement try catch statement inside because sometimes maybe we got an exception so we need to catch that exception so add catch okay let's see exception ex inside the try statement uh, we are going to make a stream reader this allow us to uh, read the file so basically just want to define a stream stream reader stream go to new stream reader and this stream reader will take the file so uh, or or the yeah the file or the bath so I just give it the item because I'm searching for a specified uh, item and we need to define other string say uh, for example read equal to we need to read the whole file so we so just say stream the read to win because I need to read the whole file after that I want to define a list of string uh, for viruses so I should define it here so I just say string uh, virus list content whatever you want to say uh, this is a string 
so we need to define a new string and let's say we have a list of viruses you can uh, search for from database but I want I want the data source to be from an array so let's say uh, virus Trojan hack for example hacker and you can define a list of whole words here okay okay after that um, here we just have to define the list we make other for loop and here we just say for each loop because after we get the file we need to go inside the file to search for its content uh, so here we define string st in viruses list okay and we need to search for uh, a value or regular expression or something so let, let us use a function called uh, regular expression we need to import it in the here using system text the regular expression so I want to search for a specified pattern from uh, the virus list so I'm just gonna say if rig uh, the regular expression uh, this one the is match if we got a match with our list of viruses or list of malicious content uh, for the uh, this string the whole content of the file if we got any match with the string this one this st okay if we got any match If we got any match, um, I'm just gonna um, increment the number of viruses, or delete the virus, or move the virus into uh, you know a safe place. So if that is true, I'm just wanna say I wanna increment the viruses plus equal one, and I need to put the label. Uh, uh, label let's see got label LPL viruses the text uh, plus equal to viruses and also uh, I want to add the virus to the list so this box the items the add the folder the file item okay okay so after this after we check uh, forget to close this uh, we need to uh, increment the progress bar so I'm just gonna say progress bar one the increment we have function here increment by one okay and uh, okay and inside the catch statement uh, I, I need to try add something here but I want to leave this uh, empty so if I try to come to uh, open a uh, notepad for example I want to make a virus so let me just try open notepad so let me try save this is Trojan for example, 
try to save this into a place. So, example, save it here. Let's say A twenty one the EX R for example. Save this here. Uh, try make other one virus for example. Put any text here, you can't put anything. Try save this uh let's say any value E DR E for example save it. Okay, so I'll try run the program. So here we got our nice program. Click browse. I go to select the folder. It's, uh, it's in my library document. My document go fax. Say okay. So initially it say viruses zero because I didn't make the scan. So when I try and make the scan, as you can see here, I got two viruses. And say here zero one two, <laughs> I got two viruses. Okay. So okay, let me just improve this. Uh, when I go form. Uh, we have a viruses here so uh, where's the text here let's clean this and if I go to uh, the code browse I'm just gonna say viruses and just add this and forget about Okay. Copy this and go to this again. Okay. So try add other virus. Go notepad again. Uh, for example, suppose this is a file, and I need to save this also. Example the exe save it try run the program browse libraries document my document go fax select it and I hit hit scan so as you can see here you just got two viruses one of them is called a21 EXR and the other one is this virus. So I can add other functionalities here like delete, like uh, move to safety place or something. But this is the basic idea of the antivirus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you later. Thank you.